Hey there, Interwebs, DMT Killer here, today with another Java for Noobs tutorial. Today we will be looking at the magical, wonderful world of conditional statements. Um, I believe one of you guys asked for it, and I will deliver. So, we're going to call it Basic Conditional. Conditionals, yeah, why not? Okay, cool. So, we're not going to put in okay sweet so public static void main oh, main string args all right just wanted to set it up awesome so what are conditional statements pretty much conditional statements are if this happens then this happens basic enough right let's get started so we want it to i want something to happen if a certain number exceeds 12. so what we're going to do is we're going to have int num um, is equal oh, is equal to um, let's say 18 um, then int num 2 is equal to nine all right sweet so how we do a conditional statement is we say if open the parameters and we say if num is greater than um, 12 then which is the next line then system dot out dot print line you're you're right awesome and if it's not it's going to say i'm gonna make it say uh, error awesome so if we run this, which hopefully should work, otherwise it's very embarrassing. If we run this, it says you're right, because obviously 18 is larger than 12. Um, but we can also use less than signs. And obviously 18 is less than 12, is not less than 12. So it's wrong. So instead of executing this, because that only is executed if num is less than 12. But if we put num2 is less than 12, then we get a you're right because 9 is smaller than 12. Some other state, some other, um, gosh, I'm blanking here. Um, some other signs you can do instead of um, just less than and less than and greater than, you can actually do equals to. So, you do two two um two equal signs is equal to so if num is equal to 12 then that's not right because num is not equal to 12 uh, we can also do wrong order okay we can do less than or equal to or we can do greater than and equal to so there's many things we can do uh, with this with if and else statements. So let's just make it greater because that's true. Okay. So what if you want to make it a bit more complex? Well, then you'd start adding these to your both your if and your else. Um, don't forget that else's do not require parameters because the whole point with else is that because these parameters did not work, it's just going to default to else. So if you want to make it a bit more complicated, like um, I want it to print out multiple lines of your right, we can just do that, for example. But this has many uses that could come in handy one day. Who knows? Um, you can also do a 
if statement inside of an if statement. So let's just get rid of all this crap. Okay, so if number is um, greater than 12, which it is, but it's also, oh, actually, no, I'm gonna do this differently. So this is one conditional statement, but we can actually have two conditional statements in parameters. If we put, if we put the and symbol, and then we can put num is less than 20, then print it out. So it will say you're right, because obviously 18 is bigger than 12 and less than 20. Practical uses for this is um, you're asking a uh, user what their age is. And if their ages are between 12 and 20, they are, well, in this case, between 13 and 19, because it's not less than or equal to, um, then they are allowed to access something that otherwise they would not be able to access to, which you see all the time in uh, websites that have age filters on them. So that's what a conditional statement is. Um, now back to what I was saying before, you can have a conditional statement inside of a conditional statement. So I can say if number two is greater than four, then it runs system dot out dot print line. It prints out um how about this? Num two is greater than four. Oh, let's do it this way. Um, num two. Plus, ta -da. so this will show up as the number two, which is nine. Nine is greater than four. So let's try this. See, nine is greater than four, and you're right. So that's how um, conditional statements work, and an if and an else statement. So that's more like a double lesson in one this time, because this is the conditional statement, and then this is the if, if or else. Um, statement method. I don't know. Who cares? Um, so yeah, that's about it. Come back next time and I will have something else for you to do. Not quite sure. Um, if you have a suggestion of something you want to see, something you need for class or anything, I don't, pro I can't promise that I'll get to it before, um, when you need it, but I will try my gosh darndest is that word? I'm not sure. To uh, get it done for you, because that's how I roll. And um, if you like this, like it, like the video, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. Who knows? If you don't, I don't care, because I love everyone.